Today, I'm going to show you how to write your own music and compose your own masterpieces with something called flat.io. So let's get there. This is your opening page. You might have to sign in and do a few things. It works best with the Google suites and your Google email. This icon up here, the little square with a quarter note in it, you hit that and creates a new score or a new document, if you will. We're going to create what I call the Mona Lisa of beginning band or middle school band, and that is Hot Cross Buns because it is unique. Everyone can play it, and we all remember learning it. And continue. Now, the first thing you need to do is select your instrument. Uh, for simplicity's sake, sake, I'll find brass, and we'll go with trumpet. Now, the first thing you need to do is you're going to need to change the key signature, because as a beginning trumpet player, you may or may not understand sharps, but seeing two of them right there is not what your normal music looks like. That's a little scary. Most everything you need to do in flat is up here, and as you scroll, you will see the names, and you can figure out what stuff is. Go to measure, and you will see all these sharps right here. This is the key signature. I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to make it look like what it should be for a beginning trumpet player. No sharps, no flats, the key of C. Hot cross buns. I need to go back to notes. Starts with a half note, so I will select a half note. And I can move my mouse up and down to select notes. Or if I miss, let's say I hit a G instead. Wonderful sound. I can move the note up or down. I'm sure everyone at home will love to hear all your compositions as you work through it like this. All right. So there's my first note. You'll see this little water droplet. This is the icon or the cursor that shows you where you are currently working. I can change this note. If I want it to be a whole note, I could click whole note or I could click quarter note. We know that the first note of hot cross bonds is a half note, so I'm going to leave it as a half note. The next note is lower. It's a D. Now, notice I clicked the next note and I was had half note here, but it switched to quarter note. That's because these notes were quarter rests. I can go back. Cursor is now there and click half note, and now it's corrected. What the heck? I know how cross buns is a simple song, but it's certainly more than one measure. How do I write music over here? I'm clicking, nothing's happening. Well, you have to go to measure and add a few more. So now we got some room to create our masterpiece. You can also simply keep going and it will create more space. So depending on what version of hot cross buns you know, the next note, it may or may not be a half note. So. I can move my cursor using my arrows back and forth, and I can change it if I want to have it as a whole note or as a half note. Either one is fair game. Okay, we'll do a whole note for now. To save time, I went ahead and finished the rest of the song. Now here's the really cool thing with flat.io. You can press this play button up here, and you can hear what the song sounds like. Now that's cool, but it's a little slow, isn't it? So go over here to the measure tab and this icon, tempo for speed. And you can actually change the speed of the entire song. Now, just for kicks and giggles, let's make it something crazy like 200 beats per minute. Now let's see what it sounds like. So you get the idea. That's really cool. Now it's time to share your masterwork or to turn it into your teacher. There's a couple different ways you can do this. I think the easiest is you go over here to the printer button, but you're not actually gonna print it. You're going to select this option here, save as PDF, save, and you give it a title, Mona Lisa. And now it's saved as a PDF. So when I open and go to my downloads, there it is, Mona Lisa PDF. And you can email that to your teacher. You can attach it to whatever digital classroom you use, and you can turn it in and send it that way. Another thing you can do is you can go back and you can hit share. Copy private shareable link. The cool thing about flat is all the things you would use in a Google Doc or a word processor, like copy, paste, edit, and all those functions also work here. So you're just going to paste that and send it away. Now, once you get the basics of this, you can really start to write music really fast. And there's some cool things you can do. Go back to the home screen, this icon here, your scores, and let's create a new one. So a new score or a uh, this icon. And we'll call this one the masterwork. Last time I simply selected a trumpet, but you can select several trumpets. You could write for three trumpets. 
and you can create your own harmony. You can create some really cool songs this way. It's a very powerful music software program you're working with here. Now, one thing I would caution you is when you start to experiment here, stay within your family, stay within your instrument. If you're a clarinet player, write for two or three clarinets and figure that out first. Don't start writing for clarinet, flute, and saxophone, and tuba because all those instruments speak slightly different languages. An F on the tuba is not an F on the alto sax, and it's not an F on a clarinet. So you have to deal with transposing and some weird things that are kind of advanced. So this is a good way to start uh, learning about those things and having fun with it. And I hope you have fun writing and working on your own masterwork. I made this video because I wanted to share this cool program with my students, but all the tutorials on YouTube were something like 12 to 15 to 20 minutes, and nobody's really got time for that. So here's a quick and simple way to get started, and the rest is up to you to figure out.